And what's great, obviously, at the moment with prices being so high, everybody else is putting prices up and you come up with a system to bring prices down. It is a lower edge cost. The engineering aspect as well and, 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 and the technology and the effort that's gone into it and that high degree of indexing accuracy and that high degree of stability gives us much better tool life anyway over what we've seen with our standard ISO inserts. Have you ever heard of the copy turn system? Because I haven't. I'm here in the studio with Stephen from Walter Tools to find out all about it. So Stephen, copy turn system, what is it? Hi Tom, well, um, Walter developed in the last uh, couple of years a uh, WL25 copy turning system and just for this year, new in the range of the new WL17 uh, version of that, that copy turning insert. And the, the reason they've developed this is that in the past they've seen a need to maybe improve upon the, the stability and indexing accuracy of standard ISO inserts, in particular the VC style and VB style inserts. And for that reason, they come up with the, the, the Walter WL copy turning system. And just talking about stability, I just want to make it clear that obviously we've got one of these systems in, in the studio. And it's the first time I've ever seen where the insert isn't butted up to the holder. Yeah, exactly. So this the, this tool you're looking at here, the, the first tool there is, um, is the WL25 insert and uh, the W1011 uh, turning tool or copy turning tool. And what you'll notice if you take the insert and you look at the insert is on the base of the insert, there is what they refer to as the WL form fit design. And this is essentially three lugs in the base of the insert and these sit into the pocket detail of the tool. And all the inde indexing accuracy and stability is driven basically from the base of that pocket detail. There's no, as you say, there's no contact with the, uh, with the size of the insert around the pocket details purely off the base location. And that gives us the, the high degree of stability. Um, with that greater stability that we can run higher cutting data, we could improve surface quality on the component and, and we get a much better tool life as well. Because, well, let's be honest, it's, 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 it's always a conversation nobody likes to have, but at one point somebody is gonna crash a machine and the pocket of the insert is always the first to go. We've all seen them where people have got them on the pedestal drills yeah, yeah. trying to grind them back yeah. in so the insert's never gonna sit. Yeah. So obviously with, with that system, it's quite hidden away. So it's quite protected as well. Yes, it is. It is very well, very well protected. And, you know, obviously if it's a significant crunch, then, you know, you're going to have to invest in a replacement tool. But in the, in the main, it's a very sturdy, very stable, uh, stable design. Um, when we look at the or consider the inserts, um, the reason they put it onto a, a non ISO three edge platform, if you like, is just to with a focus on edge cost as well and reducing edge cost. So if we take the, the smaller WL17 as an example there, um, if we said that was 100% point in the, in the price list, um, if we applied our VB11 in the same geometry and grade that we have on the WL17 insert, we'd be about 26% higher in terms of edge cost compared to the WL system. So yeah, it's, it's got many advantages, it's, it works very well. Yeah. And what's great obviously at the moment with prices being so high, Everybody else is putting prices up and you come up with a system to bring prices down. Yeah, and, you know, we just touched on the edge cost um, aspect there. You know, it is, you know, when you compare the, the, the list prices, it is, when you compare those edge costs, you know, two edges on a VB or VC style insert, it is a lower edge cost, but also the, the you know, we've got to focus on the, the engineering aspect as well and, 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 and the technology and the effort that's gone into it and that high degree of indexing accuracy and that high degree of stability gives us much better tool life anyway over what we've seen with our standard ISO inserts. And what sort of grades can you get? Because obviously what sort of materials can you use these on? So we've got a couple of grades on, on, on show here at the moment. We've got uh, Tiger Tech Silver here, this, uh, these three inserts and the WL17 and the Tiger Tech Silver WSM10S grade. And that's also available in, in WSM20S in that WL range. And with those grades, we'll be looking at uh, machining ISOM and ISOS materials. And then in the uh, in the larger external tool we got there, uh, that's our very latest coating technology. That's the Tiger Tech Gold, um, uh, uh, sorry, grade, um, and that's geared towards uh, ISOP steels, carbon steels. Um, so yeah, quite a quite a range of flexibility when it comes to or, or a wide range of grades when it comes to um, machining applications. Covers many workpiece materials. Um, yeah. Well, also um, looking on. 
You actually do these in a left and a right yeah. as well? Yeah. So in the small WR17 there we've got the neutral insert. Obviously we can you know talk about the VC style inserts. So we base this on the 35 degree inclusive angle of a VC style insert. Um, we have it in the neutral uh, variant and then we have uh, a right hand uh, a right hand uh, variant and a left hand variant and then in that external tool over there the Tiger Tech Gold uh, insert you see has got a full profile radius insert in there that's our NU6 geometry um, and that's available with uh, 2 and 2.5 mil uh, radius versions as well so um, there's quite a range you know it's, it's, it's fairly flexible and it allows us to machine angles up to 50 degrees you know depending on the tool and insert combination so it's uh, overall it's a good good system yeah. And final question, I promise. Um, obviously, the cooling is always a big aspect of tool life and um, obviously thermal cracks. So this holder's got quite a quite a specific cooling system I've never seen before. So yeah. why are you cooling the top and the bottom of the insert? So this um, uh, tool has what we call, or what Walter deemed, uh, uh, the precision cool. Um, facility on it or technology on it and that's got a, a rake face um, coolant exit on the top and also you'll see uh, on the on the, the clearance edge here that underneath the clearance edge of the insert we've got further uh, coolant exits and they allow the coolant to be fed up under where the chip is being generated as the cutting process is taking place and that well that's twofold and it gives us obviously greater edge life on the insert but also keeps the chip cooler if we can keep the chip cooler we improve its shear capability and then we, we get better swarf control. So if there's somebody at home who's watched this video and wants to find out more about this sort of technology, how can they get in contact with you guys? So probably the first port of call will be our website, walter-tools.com. You'll find, it's a, like I say, it's a, a new product and a product that we're keen to, to, to show off. So you'll find that you know, on, on the website you know, quite easily. Um, and then on, on the website, there's also links to our office as well and further contact details.